A disabled man has won his case at the Supreme Court after a dispute over wheelchair space on a bus. It means that bus drivers will have more to do to accommodate uh, wheelchair users. Doug Pauley brought his case after he was refused entry to a first group bus back in 2012 when a mother with a pushchair refused to move. Our disability affairs correspondent Nikki Fox takes up the story. It's taken nearly five years of legal battles to get to this point. How are you feeling, Doug? How are you feeling? Uh, but finally, Doug Pawley has had his day in the highest court in the country. Yay! All seven judges agreed that the bus company's policy of requesting, not requiring a person to vacate the wheelchair space, was unlawful. But it's not quite as clear cut as the judgment doesn't go as far as insisting someone move from the space. I'm really pleased with the result. I mean, I'm aware that some people won't be pleased. Um, it's not gone as far as some people would like, or it has gone too far as other people would like. But, you know, on, in the end, this is about disabled people's right to access, to travel on the bus, and hopefully today has been at least a step in the right direction. This all began back in 2012 when Doug was unable to catch a bus because the space for wheelchairs was occupied by a mum and her pushchair. She refused to move, which meant Doug couldn't get on. The bus operator first group admit that following today's verdict, they may have to amend the training they provide staff, but they are pleased their drivers won't have to force people off the bus. We really welcome the fact that the court has confirmed that a driver is not required to remove a passenger from a bus if they are refusing to move from this space. That's really important for drivers to have that clarity. The impact of today's judgment will have much wider implications that span further than just buses. Any service provider or company that has a dedicated space for disabled people, now that could be a supermarket disabled bay or an accessible toilet in a restaurant, they will have to make sure that wheelchair users get priority. But not all wheelchair users agree. I won't go in the bus and take women with the prams. You know, I am disabled, right, but I am still a man and, uh, you know, this, this, is, this, this just feels not right. But what about mums with babies? It's not quite as simple as wheelchairs versus pushchairs. It's better off if it just remains a grey area for people to use the common sense. However nuanced, today's Supreme Court ruling does pave the way for a closer look at legislation when it comes to prioritising access for wheelchair users. Nikki Fox, BBC News.